be good while I'm going. Okay. I got a call earlier about a turtle. According to the caller, somebody took it and apparently was keeping it as a pet. So I'm going to go check it out, make sure it is a legal turtle to have, and go from there. Anytime you take a turtle, whether it be killing it or taking it into your possession, you're required to have a hunting license. So this is the house. Supposedly the house is uh, right here. The gentleman just walked in. Uh, so I'll go try to make contact with him, see if he knows about this turtle. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm looking for a turtle. Yeah, got it from the pallet mill. There's a big sewer pipe that comes underneath there. Right. The mud. Yeah. And he'd come out of it. We feed him chicken and everything out of there every day. For yeah. Us. And finally he came out of the sewer pipe, so one of the guys picked him up and okay. took it over by the shop and put it in a crate. Can it's we look at it? Yeah. That's a big snapping turtle, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If there's any problem with it, I can take and put it yeah. in the Yeah, well, you know no, I mean? I mean, it's not the issue. Just, do you have a, a hunting license? Uh, no, I didn't know you had to have a. To possess them and keep them alive and stuff like that. Right. It's, you know, anytime you have a turtle like this, especially a snapping turtle, you know, they can get very large and they have one of the most powerful bites of any wild animals in Texas. And so it could be a dangerous situation. I got a crate. We'll just load him in there and we'll release it and okay. be good. Okay. I don't want no problem, you know what I mean? Uh, I understand. <laughs> I could have written this guy a citation. But as game wardens, we have discretion. And in this case, I don't think he did this on purpose. You know, I feel like a warning would be justification. Yeah, I didn't know you had to have a license to keep the turtle. Yeah, I mean, this situation is just about getting the turtle back to where it's supposed to be. And my guess is he came out of Langford Lake, so we're going to take him and release him here. So there is a lot of lily pads. There's not a lot of surface water, which actually that's what these turtles like. They like that slackish backwater where they can hide and blend in. So it'll be a great place for it. You always want to find their head first before you reach in there and grab them, because definitely leave a mark on you. So there he is. So this is a common snapping turtle, similar to the alligator snapping turtle, or just kind of a different species, but it's a very common turtle for this area. They have really sharp claws and long tails and big heads for their bodies. All right. Scamper on now. more open water here. He hasn't been in water for some period of time now, and he should crawl in there and swim away. But... You know, once these turtles have been taken in and people are taking care of them, they kind of lose their senses. Right now, he's just floating, and I have no idea what he's doing, actually. I mean, he's moving around and swimming fine. I think he just hasn't been in water so long that he's climatizing his lungs and his body back to that state where he used to live. He's probably stressed out, and he just needs to acclimate to this new environment. All right. There he goes. At the end of the day, it was a win for the turtle, and it was a win for the department. The turtle's going to make a good recovery, and he's got a new good home here at the city lake of Clarksville. Yesterday, I got the call about the cattle that wasn't being taken care of, and we have a, a signed uh, affidavit from the judge headed over there now to, to seize those cattle. I figured you'd wear your cowboy hat today. No. Huh. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Oh, good. There's only four I could find. They were, they were standing up at the top when I first pulled up, and then they ran off. Oh, do you think that, do you think that guy come and got some of them? Yeah. Oh, he did? Yeah, because he's got. Last night, or? There's a bunch of panels <clears throat> up there, and there's 
tracks all over the place. Really? Uh, but he left some in here? Yeah, there's about four, four that I could count. You know, we show up this morning and to seize these cattle, and most of them are gone. It, it shocks me. Uh, I guess the landowner was tipped off or knew that we were coming. It's the landowner's right to move their property, which which are the cattle. We're going to move these ones that are left behind and get them somewhere to a ranch where there's proper feed, uh, care, fresh water, get them taken care of. If you got one, I can get it on. Don't yeah. let her get by. Get over here, all the way. Yeah, yeah. Go, big time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shut that. Pull up, Pull up a little bit. Hey, hey. You know, we're out here checking on these cows, and we look over our shoulder, and here comes the, the landowner. How long have these cattle been out here? They've been probably been out here since November, but we've been we've been coming up here and give them cattle cubes and hay. Who put the hay out? We did. Do you know about the wrap? Yeah, every time we come out here, we, we cut them. And it's just this time we were, we, we got here like around five, you know, and it's a long way for us. So it got dark on you? You didn't yes, have time to mess with but, them? But most of them, yeah, we always pick them up. I own cattle myself, and mm -hmm. that's a no-no, is put hay out with a wrap on it, because it's going to get in their stomach, and that could be part of your problem, you know? So, uh, we've been seeing the, you know, they've been dying, but, who haven't found out why. You give them any medicine or anything? No, uh, they actually got them shots when we bought them, yes, sir. You're talking about since they started dying, though, have you given any? Like... Uh, no, not right now, and that's why we're actually trying to get somebody to go to Norman G and give them, check them out over there. Now, where's your dad at? Oh, uh, he's uh, in Magnolia, he's working. There's some reason that the father is not coming out here. Uh, he sends his son. He should have took the time to come out here today and explain himself, you know, why his cattle are in this situation. I will check on these cows and make sure they're being properly taken care of. And he will face criminal charges for animal cruelty on the six cattle that died.